back to another children's Bible story time. Thank you so much for coming back and being with me this week. Today, we're going to be reading all about patience. Are you a patient person? Isn't it hard to be patient sometimes? Well, we're going to read all about Sammy and his gadget galaxy and about how we need to be patient. This book was written by Michael P. Waite and illustrated by Gary Truesdale. Let's read it together. Sammy Stewart's Spocket Springs built the most amazing things. Things with wings and radar rings and spoils of sparkly silver springs. Here he is. Oh, how Sammy loved to hurry. It would make your eyes go blurry. He jumped from bed at six o'clock and dropped his jammies like a rock. He donned his astro garb and charged down the stairs and through the yard with yapping Dak, his little dog, pouncing past him like a frog. There in shining silver steel with spires of wires and whirling wheels stood Sammy's gadget galaxy, complete with spaceship in 3D. He got it from a science kit Dad had helped him quite a bit. They built it for the science show, which came in just a week or so, and he could hardly wait to go. He hopped inside his rocket ship and gave the power grip a flip. The monstrous motor roared to action, grinding gears with turbo traction. Mom and Dad awoke and moaned while nearly all their neighbors phoned to holler, can't you make him wait till nine o'clock or even eight? Or he'd woken up his mom and dad really early. Sammy switched to Mega Drive. The rocket boosters came alive. Zoom a zam, bloom a bam. Around the yard spun screaming Sam until ka-chug, the motor quit, and that was it. Sammy gave the thing a hit. A bright white light flashed on and said, your Gotron power pack is dead. You see that sad face? Because his rocket ship stopped working. Sammy hurried back upstairs and waking dad in deep despair, he shrieked aloud, emergency, my spaceship needs a battery. You'll have to wait, his father said. Be patient, please. Go back to bed. Sammy tried a sigh, a cough. Dad didn't stir, so Sam was off. He bounded down the stairs again, through the workshop door, and then... So what's going to happen when he goes in the door? Let's find out. Knowing he was not allowed, he crept as quiet as a cloud. Across the cluttered workshop bench, over ratchet, rasp and wrench, and there, up high as he could see, there sat a Gotron battery. He reached, he stretched, he groped, he fumbled, he wobbled and bobbled and bumbled and stumbled, and clatter, crack, crash, it all came down on top of Sammy on the ground. Uh-oh. Let's find out what Dad's going to say. Mom and Dad burst through the door with no idea what lay in store. They stared, they glared, they saw the floor. Sammy stood there saying, oop, amidst the, ga the mess of gadget soup. You'll have to pick this up, said Dad. His head was clearly feeling bad. Put every piece back on the shelf and maybe you'll convince yourself. A little patience isn't bad. It sure would make your parents glad. Look at that mess. So nail poor Sammy sprocket springs, scraped up the screws and scraps and strings, the wires and wheels and boingabobs, the spheres and gears and knickknack knobs, one by one, bit by bit, finding where each piece should fit. While little Daddy scratched his back and yawned and gave his lips a smack. Suddenly, a brilliant thought occurred to Sammy on the spot. Why not get some robot help? Dak agreed. Yip, yap, yelp. The Choromatic cleanup droid is just the thing to help avoid picking up this mess by hand. I am sure that Dad would understand. 
Do you think Sammy's idea is a good one? Let's see. So Sammy, so from its creepy closet void, Sammy drove the giant droid. He smacked the switch, marked clean up floor, and how that droid began to soar. It scooped and scraped and made a stack. It placed things back upon the rack. Sammy drove and Dacky smiled as Choromatic fixed and filed. So there's the Choromatic cleaning up for Sammy. But Sammy thought, it's still too slow. Let's see how fast this thing will go. We don't have all day long, you know. And feeling like a pickup pro, he gave the speed control a blow. And then, oh no, the cleanup droid let out a roar. Fire and smoke began to pour. Rockets blasted at the floor and zoosh, it thundered through the door. Across the lawn and down the street, over cars and fresh concrete. Over flowers, fences, fields, it shoved and shattered with its shields. Uh-oh. That's not a good idea, was it? Around it spun and headed back with Screaming Sam and Dizzy Dak. The droid destroyed with roaring wrath. And there directly in its path was Sammy's gadget galaxy, his precious project in 3D. Crumble, rumble, blam, and crash. You should have seen that awful clash. Twisted, blistered, buckled steel, a blinding blend of wing and wheel. And trapped inside those thrazzled things was Sammy Stewart's rocket springs. That's hard to say. It's a big mess. Sammy waited upside down, hanging high up off the ground. He waited hours while hooks and cranes picked apart the steel remains. And when at last they set him free, he gazed out at his galaxy. He sniffled as his eyes turned red, then turned to Dad and sadly said, Wow, I think that you were right. A little patience really might be something I could try, all right. Now I'll miss the science show. I guess that I deserve it, though. So we're cleaning up that awful mess. And after that, our Sammy changed. He fixed and fenced and rearranged. And when at last the mess was gone, he and Dad got started on a bigger, better space creation, Sammy Super Starship Station. So he cleaned up his mess, and they're gonna build something new. But if you want to see it go, you'll have to wait 10 years or so because Sammy's patience grew so well, just when he'll finish, it's hard to tell. So that was our book, Sammy's Gadget Galaxy, all about how important it is to be patient. So this week, make sure that you're patient with your mom or your dad, or even your brothers and sisters, because it's super important, right? Thank you so much for coming back this week for Storytime. I had so much fun with you, and I can't wait to be back next week. Bye, friends.